All right, Amanda, a new year sadly means new scams. The Better Business Bureau has gotten several reports of a new job scam with a twist. It involves downloading a messaging app. Joining us now in studio is Mondi Donaldson with the Better Business Bureau. Mondi, you received one of these text messages. What did it look like? What, did, what was the saying? It, it said, we've got a job offer for you. We've seen your resume out there. Just click on this WhatsApp app to start the process and we'll pay you three to $500 every time you go visit a hotel and do a rating for us. How did you, I'm assuming with the Better Business Bureau, you instantly knew it was a scam, but what were some of the clues that you saw in that text message? I wasn't looking for a job. My resume was not out anywhere. And they wanted me to go to a WhatsApp and start putting in personal information right away. Now, there are a lot of people in our area who are looking for jobs. They're on sites like Indeed, Monster.com, things like that. Their resume is out there. there some of them especially looking for jobs where you can work from home. So if they are seeking jobs right now and they receive a text like this, how do they know, okay, this isn't the real deal? One of the things would be is if they start asking for you to pay money up front or start paying you up front. For instance, they may send you a check and say, we need for you to buy these supplies. And then they tell you, oh, I'm sorry. And then they, you deposit in your account. You start buying things. And then they say, oh, we overpaid you. That's number one. Number two, why would you all of a sudden get a great offer out of nowhere without an interview for a job you've never heard of? That's a big red flag. We want to hire you instantly. No interview, just start, let's go. How dangerous is it to even engage before you realize you're in too deep? That's a great question. And the biggest thing is you get to be a victim of identity theft because you have given them your social security number, you've given them their banking information, and that's where the problem arises. We said New Year, this is a newer scam. What other scams are you keeping an eye on, especially in 2024? We get that question all the time. So the big one I would still say is online shopping scams, still so big because so many people have come, become dependent on online shopping scams. Um, and then it's coming up, of course, tax time scams. And as we keep talking about on the news, weather related disaster scams are going to be unfortunately probably big in Alabama in the next couple of weeks and months. Yeah, those are people who pretend like they're representing charities or different families. They collect money and then obviously they never deliver on that promise. What do these online shopping scams look like? I know we talked a lot about it during Christmas time, families looking to get those presents at the last minute, but what do those scams look like? Well, now they're still saying like, we've got a great deal at leftover Christmas items, you know, clearance on this item or that item, and they stay there from a legitimate company. They say they're from a legitimate retailer. And if you go back to that retailer site, that company site, they're nowhere to be found. And that'd be the same way back on the jobs as well. If you go to the company site and look for their job, there's, there's no, no job. There, there's no job. Why is it so important, even if you just receive that text message and you don't click on it, why is it still important for you to take a screenshot, report it, let someone know? Because we want to know what's going on in the River Region area. You want to let others know, hey, this is a scam. Um, it may be coming up for WhatsApp. It may be another app. But uh, people that are looking for a job on, on LinkedIn and things like that, that's not how you apply for a job. I know, sadly, a lot of times these scammers aren't in Alabama. A lot of them aren't even in the U.S. Are officials able to track them down when we send these screenshots off? If, if, if you uh, do it to Scam Tracker or report it to other agencies, if they're in the United States, you have a much better chance of, of, of making sure that they are getting the word out and that you, if you protect yourself, that's the best way to do. How can we look at Scam Tracker? How can we see what's happening, especially here in Alabama? Okay, it tells you what kind of scam that it, it is, how much money was lost, where it was, what the scam was. Uh, what we saw a lot of during the holidays, besides online shopping, was puppy scams. Oh, I see those a lot on Facebook now. Right. And so what we want consumers to watch out for are the job schemes, because people have to pay their Christmas bills. They might want to go on vacation. You have college students who always need extra money. And so that's where we're seeing something pop up right now. And we, this is going to continue as well. Sadly, it will give us that website so people can look at that scam tracker and see exactly what's happening in our it's area. BBB.org slash scam tracker. All right, Mondi Donaldson with the Better Business Bureau. We appreciate you as always. Thanks so much for joining us here on Alabama Live. Great to be with you in the studio.